debugging is simply being able to go through your code one line at a time. And that's really important whenever you, especially if you have an error, if you have something that's just not doing what you think it should do, you can put little stop markers and have it kind of stop right at the area of code in your macro where you want to look through. And the thing that's really cool about Excel VBA versus some other programming languages is you can actually debug, uh, go line by line through your code, and uh, you can actually change something on the spot and continue debugging line by line uh, through your code. So it sounds very technical, sounds really difficult, it's not. Let's go ahead and demonstrate. I'm going to click... Um, uh, I'm going to click F8. So uh, I clicked F8 a couple times, and now uh, the highlighted yellow line is the line that's about to happen. So it's going to select cell A1, or range A1, if you will. If I hit F8, it happens. You see the selector just selected A1. And then you, say, you see active cell dot formula R1C1. That's, I really don't ever use formula R1C1. I would more like want to put range A1 equals hello world. That's a little easier for my brain. But anyway, that's what it does. So even if I go here and manually clear it out, um, Alt F11, back to where we were at, if I hit F8, it automatically types in the actual value, hello world. So this is not like a formula where it's dependent on something else. This is actually as if some ghost hand just typed in hello world for you in A1. Very cool. And then range A2.select, if I hit uh, F8 on my keyboard, it will actually have done that action. All right, let's go back to our slide deck for just a second. All right, so I have outlined in this PowerPoint exactly all the steps that we're going through. So if you want to recreate these, you can either look through the workbook that is included, or you can follow these simple steps on the bullet points and actually check it out yourself. So um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a procedure from scratch. So basically, uh, we already did the hello world thing here. Um, we already did the debugging thing. Now we're going to go back and create a macro from scratch. We've seen how to do it if you want to record, but eventually you're going to get to the point where you're going to want to do stuff manually and not have to edit the formulas.